In this video, I will share my recommendations for shopping in Singapore within a medium price range. I combined my two passions, traveling and fashion, and I'm excited to share with you my shopping guide recommendations in cities that I have visited. My goal is to save you time and provide a local fashion guide, introducing you to unique brands. In this video, I will share my recommendations for shopping in Singapore within a medium price range. First, I will discuss different brands, giving you a glimpse of their assortment examples to help you understand each brand's DNA and style. Later, I will talk about various locations and provide a brief guide to shopping malls, which are very popular in Singapore. While Singapore is mostly known for its luxury segment, offering numerous shopping malls for those seeking designer items, there is also a wide selection for budget shopping. However, the premium range is quite modest, with local brands mostly targeting reasonable budgets. You can find several European Inditex brands in Singapore malls, but I'd like to start with local brands. I believe it's great to explore what each city has to offer, what is unique in that country, and difficult to find elsewhere. Some of my favorite local brands in Singapore are Yacht 21, Love, Benito, and Playdress. My favorite products from Love Benito is amazing padded bus tops and dresses that are great choice for summer because you don't need to match a bra. These brands offer clothes perfectly adapted to the local lifestyle, with conservative and non-offensive styles suitable for various occasions. Locals mostly prefer muted colors and similar textiles. Singapore brands are especially suitable for petite figure women. The style and color tone of these clothes make it easy to mix and match, although they may not be very durable. Most items are priced up to 100 Singapore dollars. There are many more local brands, but a lot of them have a similar style. Namiski stands out by offering a diverse range of fashion apparel and accessories. Their unique evening and formal dresses are priced from 200 to 400 Singapore dollars. Next, we explore an iconic brand hailing from Singapore, Charles & Keith. This renowned brand offers exquisite footwear, bags, and accessories. Charles & Keith is celebrated for its chic and contemporary designs, making it the go-to name for stylish and accessible fashion. Charles & Keith is synonymous with bold and distinctive styles, boasting intricate details that catch the eye. While their designs may not be the most versatile, they are undeniably trendy offering a wide array of colors and featuring metallic accents, especially in gold. It's all about making a statement with their products. One remarkable aspect of Charles & Keith is its commitment to affordability. You'll be delighted to find that most of their items are priced below 100 Singapore dollars, making fashion accessible to all. Whether you're looking for the perfect pair of shoes, a stunning handbag, or stylish accessories, Charles & Keith has got you covered. Pedro, owned by Charles & Keith, offers very a similar range of products. Faith is a brand born out of an urban apartment in Singapore, aiming to create everyday essentials for weekdays, weekends, and special occasions. They offer great choices for Singapore's weather. Two brands that I regret discovering too late are GG5 and Sunday Staples. I hope this video will prevent you from making the same mistake. GG5 presents itself as a contemporary fashion label built upon confident individuals who view dressing as an everyday experience, both ordinary and imaginative. They offer chic prints that stand out from the local style. When I will visit Singapore next time, GG5 store will be my first stop. Sunday Staples is a fast-growing female footwear brand run by a four-person design team. It was created to address the lack of comfortable and affordable shoes in the market. Other local brands worth mentioning include The Editor's Market, In Your Good Company, Iora, Sands & Sands. In Singapore, you can find a variety of international brands. Shops like Tommy Hilfiger, Zara, H&M, and others can be found in almost every country and are quite familiar for most of us. My favorite international brand in Singapore is In Other Stories, which opened their first store in Singapore in 2022. This brand offers a range of clothing, shoes, swimwear, and accessories that fit into any aesthetic. It's a great place to find romantic style dresses and quality denim products. And Other Stories offers three different styles designed in Paris, Stockholm, and Los Angeles, representing the vibes of these cities.
If you're looking for basics, COS is an excellent choice. They offer good quality, durable clothes and accessories that will last a long time and are easy to style and match. COS is known for its good t-shirts, simple dresses, workwear, and classic colors. Massimo Duty is another brand offering great workwear suitable for both professional and relaxed lifestyles. They have great loafers, tank tops, blazers, and trousers. A new brand to me was Chinese brand Urban Revivo. It is highly oriented toward new trends with hundreds of new styles dropping every week. Designing over 10,000 styles a year, Urban Revivo aims to deliver the latest runway-inspired and high street fashion trends at affordable prices in Singapore. You can also find popular European brands such as Mango, Pull & Bear, and Bershka. Now, let's explore the shopping malls that have the most to offer in Singapore. If you're familiar with the tropical climate, it's no surprise that most of the shopping in Singapore happens in malls. The convenience of shopping under a roof and in one place becomes evident after visiting the city. Ion Orchard, located in a futuristic style building at the heart of Orchard Road, is one of the biggest and most popular shopping malls in Singapore. If you have limited time for shopping, it's the best place to start, as it houses the majority of the brands I mentioned earlier. The first two floors cater to the luxury segment, while the third floor features premium brands such as and other stories, COS, Club Monaco, Pinko, Mahe, and Sandro. In the underground levels, you can find local brands like Love, Benito, Charles, and Keith, Beyond the Vines, and Good Company, Pedro, as well as international brands like Massimo Duty, Zara, Mango, Pull and Bear, H&M, and Uniqlo. If you're mainly interested in exploring Singapore brands, Suntec City Mall is your best stop. This mall offers a variety of mid-range shops and includes local brands like Sunday Staples, GG5, Namiski, Iora, Yacht 21, Playdress, Sands and Sands, Charles and Keith, and Pedro. Vivo City is the largest shopping mall in Singapore, with about 300 retail outlets spread across three stories and two basement levels. Although it's a bit further from the central area, it's worth a visit. Among Vivo City's selection of stores, you'll find famous retail names such as Massimo Duty, H&M, Mango, Pull and Bear, and Zara, as well as local brands like Love, Benito, Charles and Keith, Pedro, and GG5. Raffles City Shopping Center is another great place for premium shopping. Here you'll find in other stories, COS Mango, GG5, Kate Spade, Mayjay, Sandro, Clara, the popular Australian swimwear brand Sea Folly, and Urban Revivo. Other smaller shopping malls worth mentioning include 313 at Somerset, Mandarin Gallery, Plaza Singapura, and Bugis. Now, if you're looking for luxury shopping experiences, there are a few iconic places to visit. The Shoppies at Marina Bay Sands is a must-visit destination. This alluring shopping mall features over 200 high-end designer labels, including Dior, Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, Hermes, Balmain, Chanel, and Jimmy Choo. The Paragon Shopping Center is another high-end mall located on Orchard Road, known for luxury consumer goods outlets. Dinjian City is home to the Takashimaya department store and many independent high-end designer stores. I've shared a link to a Google Maps list of stores in the video description, where I've added pins marking all these locations. It will serve as an easy guide on your map. Please leave a comment about this video and let me know which content you enjoyed the most. Also, feel free to share if you'd like more recommendations. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate the time you've taken. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video as it helps me improve the quality of my content.